Half music tour, half social cause campaign, the Campus Consciousness Tour channels the excitement of the hottest bands performing on campus to inspire and mobilize students to take environmental and social action. The Campus Consciousness Tour was created in 2006 by the nonprofit group Reverb. We've been out on the road every year since, featuring bands like Guster, OAR, Ben Harper, Drake, and Passion Pit, all while engaging students in a fun and positive atmosphere. Basically, we visit colleges around the country and talk with students about how they can uh, you know, create a dialogue with their administration on campus, how they can get their peers involved with what they're trying to do to make their campuses more sustainable. And then we bring it all together with a concert. What's really cool about the Campus Consciousness Tour is it takes all the excitement from somebody like Drake or Ben Harper uh, coming onto campus and shining some light onto the campus groups that have been working so hard all year round to make sustainability on campus a reality. I'm able to utilize a certain amount of momentum, a certain amount of shine, and project it onto these individuals that are doing such great things for their, for their school. It gets a tour with a message, you know, it, it adds something to the energy of the tour. We, we work with a band and directly to make sure that their side of the equation is as eco-friendly as possible. This uh, Campus Consciousness Tour is really about empowering the people that we get to interact with at our concerts. We want them to know how important the, the mission of environmental sustainability is to OAR. We love bringing the Campus Consciousness Tour here at campus. It is sold out this year. We really like the educational aspect to the tour, promoting the environment, um, making students aware of what's going on. We're having a show every year anyway, so bringing this is just heightens the awareness of going eco-friendly. You know, I hate being that lazy teenager. Let's get out start a movement and to just spread the word about something that's really important. The students are leading the charge, there are projects going on with it, the administration is getting on board, they start to see that it also makes monetary sense in addition to environmental sense. It really, you know, it, it, it gets people going and gets the, the process moving very quickly. We really cannot imagine putting a tour together without the Campus Consciousness aspect of it. So we are really excited for next year um, and what tour they're going to be putting together and we cannot wait to bring them here to Syracuse University again. It's better late than never and I think 2010, new decade, new time, new change, new movement. We're going to take you guys for a meet and greet. Uh, to Drake in exchange for volunteering. It's awesome that he does it, he does it every night and he's super supportive of everything that we're doing out here. And that's one of the big perks of volunteering, so thank you. Working with Reverb has been wonderful. They really know what they're doing, they're reaching out uh, to the music industry. They've got it down to a science and it allows us to reach out to a group of both students and, and concert and music lovers that, uh, that we may not necessarily have access to otherwise. Uh, in politics, people talk about the Green Revolution. Well, I mean, people my age are trying to make that happen and trying to make that a reality. So the Campus Consciousness Tour really presents, uh, a tr I think, a tremendous opportunity for our organizations and for the Green the Block campaign to just expand uh, the reach of the message that we're trying to present, encouraging people to take their own personal action um, to uh, live more sustainably. To help support our efforts, we partner with a few like-minded brands that share the same passions that we have about the environment and social issues. Silk Soy Milk has been out here helping to sponsor and support Reverb and the Campus Consciousness Tour since 2008. We're here with Filter for Good, which is a partnership between Brita and Nalgene, and we encourage people to go bottled water-free by using reusable plastic bottles. Eco screen printing is we use water-based, non-toxic inks. It's not harming the environment, so it works hand-in-hand. Hand. Everyone's winning. <laughs>